How's it going, everybody? <clears throat> I did not prep yet. Hang on just a quick second. Sorry. All right, continuing in First John, he that saith he abideth in him ought himself also to walk. Let's go ahead and pull this up in New Living. If something doesn't sound right, we will, of course, check it out in the King James. Sounds very King's English, though. It's, it's tough to read. Those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. Yeah, you don't want to be living in sin. And if you need a list of the sins that you don't want to be living in, just go to uh, Galatians 5, 19 through 21. There's a stack of sins listed that it says at the bottom, those that do, those that do such things shall not inherit the kingdom. So the Lord will call you out of all of those in Galatians 5, 19 through 21. Dear friends, I'm not writing a new commandment for you. Rather, it is an old one. You have had from the very beginning this old commandment to love one another is the same message you heard before. Yet it is also Jesus lived the truth of this commandment and you also are living it for the darkness is disappearing and the true light is already shining if anyone claims i am living in the light but hates his fellow believer i was i was waiting for that this is talking about believer to believer that person is still living in darkness anyone who loves a fellow believer is living in the light and does not cause others to stumble but anyone who hates a fellow believer is still living and walking in darkness such a person does not know the way to go having been blinded by the darkness i am writing to you who are god's children because your sins have been forgiven through jesus i'm writing to you who are mature in the faith because you know christ who existed from the beginning i'm writing to you who are young in the faith because you have won your battle with the evil one you don't win it jesus does when he calls you I have written to you who are God's children because you know the Father. I have written to you who are mature in the faith because you know Christ who existed from the beginning. I have written to you who are young in the faith because you are strong. God's word lives in your hearts and you have won your battle with the evil one. All right, so let's go back and just kind of scan over it in King James. He that saith he is in light and hateth his brother. So his brother means fellow believer. So just understand that. And uh, because I definitely agree with that. And um, if any of y'all want to look it up in New Living Translation, that would be 1 John 2, 9. 1 John 2, 9. There's other verses too where it's written, but just to keep it simple, you can look up that word brother and see what all it says. Okay, pretty much verbatim. All right, and the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth. Yeah, we're gonna find out if this was Jesus or just an angel, probably just an angel, but it showed a lot of Jesus and that it was since the Antichrist and the false prophet, beast out of the sea, beast out of the earth, and one foot's on the sea, one foot's on the earth. So it's like you got Antichrist and Christ. Um, and the rainbow correlation, which the rainbow, you know, God has the rainbow over his throne. And this angel had a rainbow. Angel means messenger also. Um, of course, Jesus is not to return uh, until he comes in the clouds. So I don't see how it could be Jesus though, right? But it sure is a reflection. This angel is definitely a reflection of Jesus. And swear by him that liveth forever and ever who created heaven and the things therein and the earth and the things that therein are in the sea and the things which therein, that there should be time no longer. And in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, 
Yeah, and that's uh, at Revelation eleven fifteen when he sounds. We're still in 10. The mystery of God should be finished. He that hath declared to his servants the prophets and the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me and said, go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went to the angel and he saith unto him, give him the little book and take it and eat it up and it shall make thy belly bitter and thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the book out of the angel's hand and ate it up and in my mouth, sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. All right. I knew, I knew where that was going when I was up here. And I pretty much have read that so many times. That's why I was able to read that King, King James Version so quickly. Because that story just sticks with you. Eat the book. It's going to be as sweet as honey when you eat it. But as soon as you eat it, it's going to make your... And um, you would think, well, why is that? Well, it's your salvation. It's sweet. But you're still in the flesh. And you're having to go through these things, this earth. Um, and this book is telling the story of the truth that, that's to come, I would imagine. And so it's, it's a bitter pill to swallow. Have you ever heard that expression? They get so many expressions from the Bible, sometimes to correlate the Bible, sometimes to make fun of the Bible. Um, I certainly wouldn't use anything to make fun of the Bible, but um, definitely um, when you eat what is written, what is coming, it would make your belly... Would it not turn your stomach if the Lord gave you the vision of everything to come? I mean, Jesus said, For there shall be great tribulation, which was not since the beginning of the world, to this time, no, nor ever shall be. I mean, it's going to get nasty. It would turn your stomach. And so by eating that book, it just makes you feel like uh, to taste, to understand the truth would be sweet. Let's just say you got a vision of the of the future that would be sweet. You got a revelation from Jesus, but it would turn your stomach in the flesh, in the fleshly sense. Your spiritual um, sense would love it, but your fleshly sense would it would turn your stomach to see your loved ones getting smashed. I mean, there's just no telling when two billion people are going to die, right? due to war and famine and beast of the earth. Can't even imagine what all that's about. Anyway, love y'all very much.